Hey crafters, it's Muriel. I am here with my third batch of Christmas tags to share with you. I did do a sneak peek um, of one of the tags on my Instagram. And then um, I finished them last night. I went to a craft fair, uh, not a craft fair, but a craft craft night at my girlfriend's house. And it was lots of people doing knitting, crocheting. They were, um, Her husband was smoking cheese. He was smoking ribs. Uh, one girl was doing cross stitch. Uh, two guys were doing uh, Legos and airplane model airplanes. So it was lots of fun. And I made my pillows, my um, buffalo check pillows. I made the pillowcases. I covered the pillows, excuse me, with the scarves that we purchased at Target. So I'll be showing those once they finish because I have to put some buttons on them. But I did want to show you these tags because I am, you know, not in a rush. But I'm trying to get as many of them as I can because I have some folks that I want to give them to um, before Thanksgiving not before but Thanksgiving uh, the day before Thanksgiving and then others I have to send out so uh, I kind of want to just make as many as I can so this is the one I showed you guys on a sneak peek um, it's really basic my daughter said to me and it'll apply to the other ones here but she said why don't you make some that are a winter kind of theme maybe add some blues so I have several paper pads and I kind of mix them and match them and made some that are a little softer with some blue winter look but this um, cutout was on that page as well so these cutouts come from the Bow Bunny sleigh ride collection and it's just a sheet of the cutouts the three by fours I think they are so there's I don't know um, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe nine, I think, if I'm counting right. So here's a collection. I have it um, in a plastic sleeve, but it has the browns, the blues, that winter look to it. So it also came with a cardstock sheet of some stickers, and I've kind of used some of them um, on these tags. But um, I basically used the tags. I didn't want to do too much to the tags in terms of alter. But um, because I didn't want to take away from the image. The Im images are so pretty. Um, so I just added a few things like wooden pieces. But nonetheless, uh, this was one of them. And it has this beautiful uh, trees in the background. It's like a window that you're looking through and it has snow on the ground so I just added this wreath I put some gems on it red gems to duplicate the cherries from the wreath um, it already said let it snow I added this wooden uh, sleigh from Bow Bunny's wooden collection and a dimensional sticker that says Noel and Christmas twine and then on the back of them all of them have a tag from the um, card stock sticker sheet and some have the to and from but this one did not so they're all ready to just put on the person's gift and give away this one had a real soft um all is calm all is bright um writing on it only thing i did was staple this vellum tag that says 24 added a snow day sticker this is a bow from the collection by Echo Park and I got them at Tuesday morning a perfect winter by Lori Whitlock so she has these beautiful bows they look wintry so I just added that red one with some twine a snowflake here on the corner and then some gems um, some clear gems if you can kind of see those coming through and then I just put this sticker on here this is a um, snowflake sticker I'm not sure where it's from but it was a pack that had about five stickers large uh, snowflakes and I just put that there just to kind of pull some of that blue out and on the back here is a tag okay this one here has this beautiful image of these Christmas trees hanging on a string from this uh, blue holly only thing I did was add on top of it these two wooden trees um, I put a sticker at the bottom that says Merry Christmas then this is a wooden um, a real light um, um, Merry Christmas and I got those I ordered them several years ago oh, sorry about that um, the company is I'll show you one and you'll be able to see um, Stampin Stampinix 
So they had really pretty um, decorative chipboard pieces that are like laser cut. So I had these for a while now and I thought I would just pull one out and uh, the Merry Christmas was loose in the drawer. So I'm using that on this tag with some beautiful fibers, blue and some pom-pom trim. And this one doesn't have a sticker on the back, so uh, we will fix that for sure. But I want to show you these pom-pom stickers, these pom-pom trims. They go way back. They're from Michaels. They're from 2012, when Michaels uh, Dollar Spot used to have lots of trims and lots of coordinating um, elements for paper crafting. So I am just, I pulled those packs out. I'm just using those. Okay, so that's how that tag came out. Again, soft, wintery looking. Okay, here is one too. This one had an image of a wreath. What I did was I took a piece of vellum that had the star cut out and I just uh, taped it on top so that you can see the word hope on the original um, cut apart. Added some red and various stickers at the bottom, the wooden Christmas tree. And then over here, these are some vellum um, late table um, labels I guess or tags it says 12 and then has this uh, vellum piece here with some gold dots on it another bow from Echo Park some trim and here are some more of the fiber um, and then here is one of the Tim Holtz um, Jingle Bells this year that he has for the holiday I want them to fall out but they look like this they're called Tiny Bells some of them ring. The bigger they get, they ring. But the little ones are just vintage enough that you can just add on. They do have a uh, loop where you can add it on. Okay, and then this one has a tag in the backs for the to and from. And then here's one with another beautiful winter scene of the top of the trees with the snow on top. Basically, I added some more stickers. It already had this Merry Christmas stamp, so I just put December 25th, and that is glued on top of a vellum star. Some stickers, the word joy, and then some fibers. Okay, and on the back there is a to and from tag. Okay, this one here, this beautiful image of these angel wings with some tags hanging down that say every time a bell rings, an angel gets her wings. So I used one of the wooden bells from the Bow Bunny collection, another um, dimensional sticker says jingle all the way, and then some fiber trim. Okay, and then the to and from tag there. Okay, here is one. The image says Noel. It's just like the block word sitting on top of a shelf. I just added some more stickers here. Merry and bright snowflakes. Cut out three stars from a sticker um, of a snowflake. And then some more vellum pieces I just had. These may be K and Company, I'm not sure. But there are some um, ornaments. And then I just glued a reindeer on top, another bell, and then this pom-pom uh, fiber trim. And then there is the tag on the back of that one. And then this one here, the image was of two wooden trees. Um, basically, I did a sticker going here, Mr. One, uh, called Wonderful, excuse me, not Mr. Wonderful. Um, there are three wooden snowflakes. I did some, um, I had some um, paint out and I just tried to do some splattering. It kind of got a little crazy so I stopped I just put this sticker across here happy holidays um, at the bottom again I'm using two of the vellum tags this says 23 and then that's a music sheet the bow and then just a simple trim of um, some uh, cream thread and on the back there is the to and from with a Merry Christmas tag and then I pulled out this um, die that I purchased at Tuesday morning last year or maybe the year before. It's a Jen Long Thinlets die and it has the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year on it. So I wanted to use it so I just created these two tags here. This is just some cream background paper. I cut the die out with some uh, red paper. These bows I had in my stash. I probably have several left. I made them a couple of years ago. I thought I wanted to put them to use. So I'm using two of the green ones. And then I just have some um, fiber trims um, from my Christmas basket. 
Okay, that looks like that. On the back, I have the Merry Christmas to and from. And then the second one, the bow is a little different. It has more of a pattern than this one has dots. So they're kind of the same. And then I have some of the uh, gems, the clear gems, so that they have a little twinkle to them. So those are the few that I um, created. I still have some downstairs that I'm working on. Um, and I'm in between washing and folding and on the phone with my family. And yes, so I am really feeling um, good about the tags. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. And until my next video, you guys take care. Bye now.